So I'm here today at Tranquil PC to specify my design for a bespoke appliance. I've got a specific set of needs and I'm going to uh, see if Tranquil can make that. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at some of the design process and some of the manufacturing process as everything is built here at Tranquil. So David, I've got my requirements. So I want you to now take me through the process of how do you find out what I need and how okay. we're going to do it. All right. So um, you've asked me to create or see whether we can create a product for you, mainly for media streaming, we would refer to that as a media streaming device. Yeah. So if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you just a couple of questions. So the i3 determines now that we need about 35 watts of power dissipation. Just in the back of my mind, I'm thinking yeah. fins, okay, just 35 watts equals fins. So, so the processor affects the, the, the heat and the yes. design? Yeah, yeah, the generation of the heat from the processor and the south bridge actually as well. Um, so we need to get rid of that heat into the case. Mm. Uh, the box has to be reliable. I don't want to be out going rebooting okay. servicing this thing or it right. won't. So I need that okay. sort of right. trusted reliability. And these products, as you know, will not have any fans in them. They will be thermally designed to accommodate the cooling of those parts without fans. Uh, and on your I.O. side, you're looking page HDMI. You don't need special audio. You don't need anything else special on the no. I.O. You don't need any special. But you could offer... Um, if I was put maybe in a retail environment and, a, and it was getting reset, I could offer some logo. Yeah, what, what, what we often do in the BIOS is when you turn the machine on, it will display your logo when it's turning mm -hmm. on until it jumps into, it drops mm -hmm. into the operating system. All right, Ian. Uh, well, I think that's all we need to know right for now. Right, right now, thanks for watching, Dave, for your time, Will. I'd like to evolve. I'll just hand that over to Philip now. Um, we'll just have a quick chat with Philip now, if you don't mind. Okay. Perhaps I'll just call him in. Okay. Okay, Philip, um, we've got, as you know, Ian with us today, and I've run through what he's looking for. Um, I'd like to introduce you to him in a second. Um, but I'll hand over this design to you in a moment. So what he's looking for is a device with a small form factor, so we can try to keep the device small on so the So if desk. I introduce you to Ian in a moment, and I'll just uh, give you a, this requirement, perhaps you can run through that with him a bit later on, um, and I'll probably see you a bit later in the day when we've... So, so what are we going to look at now? Yeah. We're going to compare your design requirements yeah. to something that we already offer mm. and try and tweak it a bit more to your design like really, not yeah. the internals, we've got all that to mm. figure out now. So, um, so this is the sort of the program that you would use to... Yeah, this is um, SolidWorks, we do all our 3D design. This design yeah. here um, is a completely, it's normally a, a completely headless system. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to add um, a switch on it yeah. and um, as we go along you can tell me what kind of features you'd like to add to it or you'd like to remove away from it to get it looking how you'd like. Yeah. The other great thing about this, we can give ourselves targets of mm -hmm. surface area. I'll quickly show you um, how we calculate that. So this here gives us straight away oh. a, a report of the surface area. Yeah, I thought yeah. maybe... Um, if the front was a bit more sort of a bit more curved somewhere, somewhere. So now you've filled that's that it's, it's solid you can then start to yeah. cut away from it, yeah. It's a bit something like Yeah, that. just a bit smoother now, yeah. So what I'd suggest to you from this, if you're happy with the look of the unit now, we'll start to add some components. So can you could you make sort of that like a more flush yeah, we've got other switches with yeah, that. That's good, yeah. Obviously it seems quite bulky but once it goes in the case yeah. it's a lot slimmer than the That's other. got a little LED link ring yeah, the yeah. Yeah. So, so we removed the, the extra uh, fins and uh, round the corners, put the button on there. Oh, that looks really good. And put it there, the look of it. Yeah. You can probably pass this on to one of our programmers. After it, we've done some quick checks on the thermals on in the program, um, we will pass it on to a programmer and they can start programming it up. You give us an ETR and I'll take them to the machine. Right. Works. So, yeah, get it to the program. Let's go down and look how that's done. Right, so where are we going now? Now we're going to go down to the machinery. Right? Mm -hmm. And I'll introduce you to James. He's one of our programmers, and he also runs the machine. And uh, we'll start against the front button, so we're ready okay. to put that inside. This is James. He does all our programming. Um, he, I'm going to now have a quick chat with him and explain what we've done to alter the design for your needs. And then what he's going to do using the design that we went through in the offices, he's going to transfer that to the machine, and then we can put the sample. The big machine. The big machine, yes. Right. The big noisy. Yeah, yeah. The first job we'll do is the main body of the job, all the islands that we showed where the cooling is um, makes contact with the case. And that also includes the features. The second is where we finish the top and again add some more nice little features. And finally we add the rear and the front. Point, that's that's what the, the unit will be made out of. Yeah. 
this is um, a standard stock piece for that yeah. size of material. Yeah. Now the parts in, we can set the job off. So now we're going to begin from the first stage. So sort of half an hour later than we're starting now, we're just, um, it's done so a lot of the intricate work now. Yeah, it's done all the, uh, sort of the time temp stuff, it's yeah. now um, simply doing the, the front and yeah. the rear features. So now you can see the fins that we just, yes. you know, that, that were there before. Yeah, which is quite important for yeah. this design. And that's the, the, the curves that we specified yeah. early on the design. Exactly. So now we're going to do the third stage, which is the... Oh, right, yeah. So that's absolutely perfect. It is. I mean, you see some pieces, don't you, with like an aluminum foil type back on them, that never no, quite not. fits to the, to the yeah. ports, but that's absolutely yeah. spot on. This one's been made to measure. So yeah. There's another little thing you may have seen on the job, that it actually threaded a hole here. Now this little hole here we use as a retainer clip for the power supply cable. Just right. for that actual level of security. Oh, good idea, yeah. And reliability, of course. Yeah. So now we're going to do the final stage on the shooting, which is in front, so we can actually mount the bottom. Right. So, so that's the place the power switch, right? That's not the place. Before, yeah. I'm just sorry, I actually threaded the power switch as well. Oh, right, yeah. I don't know if can see that, but it's, there's a so there's thread in there. Yeah, so yeah, the power It's not just a hole. No, yeah. it's going straight in on this one. Excellent, that's really good. Straight from Alton as well. Yeah. So now what will happen, you know, we'll go through its final stage of testing just to make sure it goes together once it's had a clean up. Yeah. And then it will go off to be anodized. Right. And upon final testing, that will be an anodized sort of thing going into mass production. Right. So what's the next stage that we're going to look at now? The next stage we'll look at now is putting together the complete system. Right. And we'll do that into our uh, production shop. Our production so, right, okay. Machine machine that make the the block or edge block. So now you've got it back, it's a different colour. What's that look like? We've now anodized this in house. We've got um, anodizing facilities in house. We use it for samples uh, for turnaround time. So it's been anodized in the matte black finish. Yes, again on the uh, video on the video designs we did earlier. So now we're getting a real, really good yeah. idea. So the next thing is to take that over to the now it goes to production. Factory, yeah, it production area. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now it's got production department. Mm -hmm. Jamie's actually going to put this uh, first system together for us. Right. This screwdriver we use is to get the torque settings just right so the screws are at the right pressures. Right, so you're not over tightening it or uh, too tight. Now you've yeah. got its base on, it's now ready for test. As you can see, it's looking a lot more like what we saw in the yeah. pictures earlier. So this is Vlad, he's our technician. He actually signs off all of our systems before they can go into mass production. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to overview the whole unit as yeah. uh, hard, not hardware-wise, but the case itself for any scratches, any any marks, yeah. anything like that that would be unacceptable to uh, to an end um, user. Yeah. Everything we do on a unit it gets recorded into a production test schedule. So uh, as we go through the steps of the test, we will take them off and just confirm on on the actual uh, schedule that it's been. After done. the overall visual inspection, we will go through the the memory test. We will test that. Mm -hmm. the, the memory modules inside the unit are fine and then we're going to uh, flash the BIOS with the custom BIOS for that particular type of unit. And this basically has just started RAM test. This will take up to 10 minutes, it will happen depending on the size of the RAM inside. Yeah. This being an 8 gigabyte uh, unit, it will take up to 5-10 minutes. Yeah. When we do get any errors, they will come up with red flags here, but hopefully this one won't, won't have anything like that. Um, and that's that's basically it for, for a sample test. Let's finish unit and uh, Feel of this. So this has got exactly as I requested. The rounded corners on there. The, the extra fins were taken off there. The, oh, okay. The, the power button was as, as I, I didn't requested. actually so see everything else that you guys have seen on this video. Um, how did you find the experience? Oh, it was it was fascinating to see the process of going from this sort of block uh, and watching the machine build it away and, and uh, create all these the edges and. Uh, 
and seeing that process yeah. it was really interesting. I guess it's, it's great for you just to be able to go from the screen because Philip took us through the design on the screen. Yes. How was that? Uh, that was great was, to be able to see the effect of, of, of a change and, and how that would be and we looked at the different colours and everything else. So it was really nice yeah. to see that and then to see the sort of the but what you asked, you've got what you asked for, you've got your connectivities, I believe. Yeah, we've got um, an HDMI on there, the network port. And just as another example, in case you wanted it in silver, here is silver version. A um, little bit aptly type finish on there. And that's the inside of it, which I presume you saw yeah. uh, before it was quite... It's a really interesting um, uh, procedure to see it all, all go through. Super. Excellent. Well, thank you very much indeed. Uh, thank you. <laughs>